Yo, this is Eric D. Back at it once again. I'm glad y'all stopped by this week for this week's episode of my uh, Baja Doodlebug Street Bike build. Uh, real quick, I wanted to show y'all uh, my motor play from Ghost Power Sports, uh, a Makuni uh, carburetor setup, and the gas tank mount. So uh, real quick, I'm going to show you the uh, Go Power Sports jet, uh, motor plate, which is uh, all aluminum, it comes uh, pre-slotted, and uh, I'm going to make a floating mount for it, so I'm going to end up cutting uh, a couple of pieces of tubular steel, about 8 inches, uh, just need two of them, uh, make a floating mount for it, so it's just easy to get to the bolts, so you can... Uh, slide the uh, motor back and forth which is the great thing about the mount it gives you an uh, inch of play um, front and back and side to side uh, just like the UGK song and uh, and it's just awesome man as far as tightening up your chain uh, and making your final adjustments uh, between your motor and your wheel and uh, we'll just put a couple tacks on the bracket because I'm going to flip it over and actually drill a couple holes through the bottom of the frame into the uh, brackets so I can put a nut bolt on there. Just give me a little extra insurance, know that, you know, so I know that uh, you know nothing's going to break loose going 50, 60 miles an hour down the road. So we can put a couple tacks and a couple nuts and bolts on the bottom of this. And uh, I'll show y'all the Mukuni carburetor setup I got going on. Real nice kit from Go Power Sports. Comes with um, the gasket, uh, the spacer, this black spacer. Uh, it sits out about maybe a little more than two inches from the motor. That way the carburetor kind of sits out and into the fresh air on the side of the bike. Real easy to install. Comes with all the nuts and bolts, and uh, we'll get this buttoned up real quick. Got a couple hex screws. And uh, need a couple Allen wrenches. And the Makuni carburetor I got from Go Power Sports uh, is from Japan. And it's supposed to be a little bit better than the Chinese version. So you can see it's a whole lot bigger than the original Predator 212 carburetor. So this is, should give us a couple extra horses. And a lot of fresh air for the motor. Comes with a couple nuts and bolts. Uh, you have to reverse fit them on there because uh, the choke is on one side have to put the bolt you know kind of in the front and then thread the screw through the back so you can get to it button that up real quick And the uh, air cleaner comes with it. Uh, nice chrome top air cleaner. Some blue plastic on it. Kinda, I'll keep that on there so I don't scratch it up. And it just comes with a ring clamp. Just gotta tighten that down a little bit. And I kind of wanted to show y'all how, how you uh, Hook the throttle cable up to it. Just take this top off. Uh, there's a spring underneath. Careful, careful you don't lose the spring. And you pull the little cylinder out. And it's got a little uh, pin on the bottom. And if you look inside, there's like a little nipple on the side. So it can only fit in one way. So don't worry about putting it in the wrong way. And uh, all you do is uh, you thread the other end of your throttle cable through the cap make sure it's tight on the little rubber 
gasket on the top and uh, you press your spring down and then you clip your cable in through the top and slide it down and uh, I use some vice grips to keep the tension on the cable and uh, you just stick it back in there and uh, tighten it down just hand tighten it you know so you don't uh, mess the threads up and uh, let me just show you how it works a little bit and uh, I'll pull on this cable and uh, you can see the little uh, air plunger moving up and down yeah. and the little pin in there kind of controls the fuel uh, level so you can adjust that as well and it comes with these filters for your vents but I'll probably just end up hooking that up to the gas tank which I'll show you yeah, I got this nice shiny uh, gas tank aluminum gas tank from uh, ghettobike.com um, it took like a month to get but um, I like it the way it, well, I like it because it kind of hangs hangs from the bottom instead of most of them you gotta mount it from the top so uh, I made a couple brackets for it and um, kind of screwed them on there just to see where I'm going to put them Still gotta order the valve though for the bottom the NPT valve. So, but uh, I'll just get the tank mounted now. Um, real simple, just some inch and a half uh, flat steel. Cut them and uh, we'll tack them on there. We'll, we'll line them up real quick first. I just kind of lined them up with the angle of the uh, top of the frame. Made a couple marks there so it looks kind of even. I'll just kind of cut the excess off real quick. Now we'll just put a couple beads on both sides. Make sure this tank doesn't go nowhere. And uh, I'll leave the name of the um, website I got the gas tank from in the description. So you can check it out. Uh, don't be fooled by the ghetto bike uh, name because it's a really well made aluminum tank and uh, they're a lot cheaper than a lot of other places I've seen that sell uh, aluminum gas tanks. So um, like I said it took me a month to get it. I don't know why but I finally got it in. And uh, there it is. And um, next time I'm gonna try to get the uh, fuel lines in there, the vent lines, the, uh, the grip throttle on the handlebars, and uh, and work on the uh, custom exhaust. So we still got a lot of lot to do, but it's coming along, man. So um, I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Peace.